Hi everyone, I'm Louis. I'm a CTO and co-founder at WeWard, and uh, I want to talk quickly about uh, hiding the blockchain. I think there's a point to be made uh, about hiding the blockchain in your product. So this will be a short talk. It's mostly destined for those of you who are building stuff with blockchain, but mostly uh, products that are destined to users outside of the core community, which is a great community as we can see in events like this, but still there's a lot more people outside of it than inside. So uh, let's just take a quick question. Uh, how many of you are actually building products currently? Uh, cool, obviously. How many of you have already released some form of product to actual real users? Um, well, very cool. Okay. Um, so uh, maybe we can have a quick conversation at the end of my short talk, uh, whether you agree or not. Uh, but I think that to get mass adoption, which was supposed to be for last year, two years ago, hopefully for this year, maybe for next year, but still, I think that one thing that is uh, like taking us, putting us behind is that we're focusing too much on the blockchain aspect on our product and not enough on the user and the use case. So I'll take uh, the experience of my own team for the past year as an illustration of what I'm saying. Um, so since about yeah, December 2017, uh, my team and I, we've been trying to think about how to use blockchain to reward shoppers for a different kind of behaviors. And uh, I think we made a cl classic mistake. Uh, we got really excited about the blockchain part. And so whenever we're talking to clients, so in our case, it's retailers, the, 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 the people who finance the whole app, uh, we were talking about the blockchain. So basically the way we're describing our product was it's kind of an edge way for retailers and brands to learn and engage with the shoppers without any intermediaries using blockchain technology. So basically the word blockchain was in the first sentence we used to describe a product to retailers, to basically people who don't give a shit. Uh, like they literally don't. They, they just don't want to make money. Corporate people want to make money. Your users want to have a better life. They really don't care. Um, so actually, we went back to the problem. The problem we're trying to solve is that it's really expensive for a retailer to bring someone into their store. Uh, they're spending a lot of money, mostly with Google and Facebook, and the user grabs zero dollar out of all this value that's being transferred from the retailers to Google. The user doesn't get anything, mostly because they give their data away for free. So what we wanted is to find some way to give more value to the user uh, on this process. Uh, so the different way to, to, to present the exact same idea is to tell the user, okay, you can walk in the street, I reward you for walking in the street, uh, you can accumulate points, actual money, and then you can spend them, and that's it. Uh, that's all there is to it. And when we talk to the retailer, uh, we just tell them, okay, we'll track and analyze the users, we'll monetize their well-being, uh, they can accumulate points, they can browse personal offers, and they can basically visit your stores because we're encouraged them. So on a, on a map, so basically the third screenshot here, uh, there will be point of interest where we'll try to attract the user. And if they come there, they'll get a higher reward. So let's say if you, work, if you walk uh, five miles a day, you earn five euros. Uh, if you visit this point of sale or this point of interest in general, you'll earn the equivalent of 10 miles walked. Uh, still, no blockchain in this description. Um, in terms of uh, what is the point, why the retailer would work with us, we tell them, we'll generate incremental visits to your store and incremental sales because when people want to spend the points that they've accumulated the money, uh, then they can spend it with you instead of competitors. So we'll actually decrease your marketing costs instead of you turning to Google store visit, it's a new better product, or to Facebook store visit. Uh, you can do it with us at a lower cost. And finally, maybe if they ask, how does it work, then we start talking about the blockchain. And I think, uh, so this just uh, quickly was our experience. Uh, the, the return of the market is much better now that we adopt this kind of talk. And we start trying to talk to them about snazzy tech and uh, super features that they don't really matter. It's just, if they try to understand how it works, then we tell them that uh, why it's going to be uh, cheaper for them and better is because of the transparency and that the blockchain that we use behind the scenes, behind the scenes uh, is going to make it more transparent for them, that they can get the proof that the person visited the store, uh, they can retrieve it directly from the blockchain instead of trusting a third party like Google to tell them, oh, you owe me a million bucks because I brought like a million people to your store. Um, and so more generally, 
Uh, I think all of us, it's important to, to reflect when we're building a product about maybe are we getting carried away about the blockchain aspect? Uh, are we kind of putting it first because we live in a, we work in this community where like, people get really excited like when you're having coffee after this talk. Uh, you're talking to anyone, they're really excited about anything you're doing because it's about blockchain is that because that's what we've been living for for the past two years or more. Uh, but it's, I think, really important to get back to the basics and to think in terms of UX, of UI. What are you bringing to your users? And uh, I think in terms of pros and cons, uh, it's good to, to hide the blockchain behind and not put it first foremost. Actually, it connects to the previous talk because uh, there's a lot of tools now to hide the blockchain more and more and put it like a, basically as a one microservice in your stack, um, uh, as many of them. And maybe you can uh, really hide it so that the user doesn't really realize. Like, for example, if you download the app, uh, the user doesn't know there's a blockchain, obviously, because my target user is basically my mom. And my mom cares even less about blockchain than Carrefour or Auchan or, or the others. She really couldn't care less. Uh, she uses WhatsApp. She doesn't care about the cryptography in WhatsApp, you know? Like, she's just so oh, cool. It's a way to talk about, like, with my f like, sons. Um, and so the second really good thing about hiding the blockchain is that you can actually let regular people understand what you're doing with two sentences. Because usually, again, with my mom, if I use blockchain, she stops listening pretty fast uh, after the second sentence. S sounds too complicated, so it's probably not for her. Uh, and you also avoid creating unrealistic expectations in your users because usually we all know that what we want blockchain to do this year and what it can actually already do is always a gap. And so if you try to promise something really cool uh, using blockchain, usually it's going to take you more time. And in that time, you could have put a um, less finished version of your product in the hand of your users, get more feedback and iterate. Uh, on the plus side, uh, talking more about blockchain gets a, a lot easier to get first meeting with prospects. So in our case, with retailers, like large ones like Carrefour or Auchan and smaller ones too. Uh, since all these corporates have been getting more curious about the blockchain, it's true that when you contact the marketing departments or whoever, the innovation department of these groups, uh, they will listen to you when you talk. In your first sentence, you say, okay, well, I'm doing something in blockchain. You'll understand when you meet me, but please meet me because I'm doing blockchain. It works. I think it's, work, it's going to work less and less because their curiosity is getting uh, you know, filled with all this project. But most of, I think there's more pros and cons uh, to hide it and to hide it from your users if your user is a regular Joe and to hide it from the customers until they really need to understand why you're using blockchain. But up until this point, try to uh, refrain yourself. I don't know, that's uh, my opinion. I'm glad to discuss it with you guys for the remaining uh, two minutes or so. Does someone have a question? Cool. Okay, thanks for your attention. <laughs>